Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week three of the NFL preseason right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, guy who's a, the ultimate survivor, been in the business since the late 80s, and he's proved it time and time again why in our videos these last two weeks he went 16 and 9 against the spread, free plays in our videos. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Uh, Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Peter. All right, before we get into uh, Saints and Colts, interesting matchup, interesting handicapping situation, give a quick plug for uh, Offshore Insiders. Dot com. Tell everyone about the site and uh, how to sign up if they want to. Offshoreinsiders.com, yes. We do have some great full season packages going on right now. Big discount. Uh, many of the world's professional gamblers have been with us for years. We have quite a few people have been with us for years. So not only win big, but you can save big with our full season packages at Offshoreinsiders.com right now. All right, Joe. Indianapolis, two and a half point favorite. The total is high, 47. And uh, Drew Brees is going to play. He sat out the first two games of the preseason. And, you know, the Saints are looking very good. They have a very strong um, offensive line. And, of course, you know, Drew Brees is Drew Brees. Uh, you know, the Saints, a lot of their key starters, I think, are going to be playing here. Uh, so that makes me think that maybe the Saints at plus two and a half is the play. Now, it does make me a little bit nervous what happens if, you know, the Saints are winning and then they pull all the starters in the third quarter and then, you know, Indianapolis comes back and, uh, and gets the cover. Joe Duffy, what do you think about this one? Yeah, no, both teams will definitely pull their starters by probably early in the third quarter. What coaches like to do, especially coaches like this that don't have a, a ton to prove, they play their starters in the first half. They like to play them a series or two in the second half because they want to simulate, you know, making halftime preparations and, and all that stuff. So either way, the starters for both teams are going to be pulled. I wouldn't be surprised if Breeze is a little earlier because – the playing a uh, he's playing a defense that's actually had some success. Now you got to put that in a perspective. The Colts this year they faced Geno Smith and the New York Jets, and then Eli Manning and the Giants. We know about their struggles, and those struggles appear to to truly be real. So they're getting their their first test, and, and admittedly that the Colts the running back situation is so so. But still, I think the fact that uh, most places it is and was the line that you quoted it was two and a half. Uh, I, I believe. Um, that's a line that at least when I was doing my preparation that I was seeing there, especially since you're laying less than three at home. Still think the uh, Colts are the, the play. I do think that Drew Brees would be the most likely star to be pulled early because, you know, basically he just needs to get rid of some rust and, and that's about it problem is that the Saints do have kind of a good ATS record in the preseason, uh, you know, uh, going back a few years. And you picked against uh, the Saints once, I think it was uh, in week one or something, and um, that was one of your uh, few losses in that week. So you think that maybe we're uh, undervaluing the Saints here in the preseason? Now, again, like I said, the preseason records are usually not statistically significant. In some of the other videos, I did quote uh, preseason angles, which cover the entire league wide. But now nobody, nobody puts less stock in preseason trends than I do because the situations change from year to year. I will tell you that I doubt if this is going to be a premium play. I'm not really in love with much in this game either way. I mean, if I have a very sharp opinion that tells me they truly love one side. I can definitely be talked into it, but but my official play would definitely be the Colts. All right, Indianapolis, minus two and a half it is. Thanks so much, Joe.